Carlin Center. I'm a primary care sports medicine physician at UCSF. And I'm Dr. Elizabeth Barshall. I'm a primary care doctor at the San Francisco VA. Today we're going to teach you how to perform a knee injection. Supplies. Alcohol swabs followed by betadine times three or chlorhexidine to clean and disinfect the skin. Non-sterile gloves. Ethyl chloride to numb the skin. A large 18 gauge needle to draw up the medication a smaller 25 or 22 gauge inch and a half needle, one 10 cc syringe, one 3 cc syringe, five cc's of 1% lidocaine, one cc of 40 milligrams of Kenalog, additional syringes for aspiration, a Band-Aid and gauze. The next step to do is to draw up the medication, which I like to do outside of the patient room. First, I would put on gloves. These are non-sterile gloves, but we're gonna use sterile technique. So when you open your supplies, you wanna keep everything clean and not just open them on the field. I'm gonna open a 10 cc syringe and attach my large gauge needle to the 10 cc syringe. I'm gonna open my vial of lidocaine. This is 1% lidocaine, 5 cc's. Using an alcohol swab, it's good to clean the top to make sure it's totally clean. And then draw up the lidocaine into your 10 cc syringe. I put a little air in the syringe and then inject that air into the lidocaine and that makes it easier to draw up the lidocaine. And then very carefully, I would recap this needle. And what I'm going to do is, in a sterile fashion, open the smaller syringe and switch that large needle to the smaller needle. So that keeps everything really clean. This is not, um, this is a sterile procedure, but not a sterile field. And then I'll put the smaller needle, which we're gonna use for the injection, onto the syringe with lidocaine. And I like to take off the safety because it kind of gets in the way. And then I would take the air out of the lidocaine syringe. Next, I'm gonna drop the steroid. So taking the top off the steroid, cleaning with alcohol. Again, a little bit of air in the syringe and draw up the entire um, one cc or 40 milligrams of primacinolone. You do want to get the air out here, so just tapping it will do that. Uh, and um, then you can cap the needle and you're ready to go. For this next step, we're going to sterilize the skin and get ready to perform the injection. I like to do the injection with the patient in the supine position as you see here. I like the knee slightly flexed with a bump under the knee. And I like to use the, supra, the superior lateral approach uh, because it's been shown to be the most accurate way to get into the knee. The other reason I like this approach is that you can both aspirate and inject from this approach. So if you're going to learn one way to inject the knee, I think this is the way to do it. So the first step is to find your landmarks. This is the superior border of the patella. And when you push the patella laterally, you can see this lateral border. And the idea is to find where those two uh, lines intersect and um, there's a soft spot about a centimeter below that intersection. That's the superior lateral border and the place to, to make your mark. I like to use the end of one of these clicky pens. It makes a nice mark in the skin and that'll stick around um, as you prepare the skin. So next I'm going to put on a pair of gloves And then I like to use three iodine swabs to clean the skin. And these gloves are not sterile, but you're doing the procedure in a sterile fashion. So it's a sterile field on the skin. Starting at the middle, you swab outwards. And the deal with iodine is that it works um, 
when it dries. So you want to give it some time to actually dry when you're done cleaning the skin. So to waste time while that's happening, I'll usually change my gloves because they're dirty and then put on a pair of new gloves. Sometimes I talk to the patient about their most recent holiday or something else so that they're nice and relaxed. Uh, and then I'll put on new gloves and open um, a piece of gauze. I like to have a four by four because I like to use that at the end in case there's any bleeding. And then also I like to have a Band-Aid and I like to put this you know, within hand's reach because I'm usually doing this on my own. So you open up your gauze and your Band-Aid and by that time enough time has passed that the site has dried off. And so then what I like to do is use an alcohol swab and holding it by the corner, the rest of it is sterile. I just bring that across the field and now you can nicely see the spot that you've marked. I like to freeze the skin with some ethyl chloride, let the patient know this is gonna feel very cold. Sometimes it almost feels like a burn. You hold this about five inches from the skin and depress the ethyl chloride until they see the skin kind of turn frozen. <laughs> and that means it's really cold. And I like to take another alcohol swab, again by the corner, and put it down right over where I've prepped. And you'll see what I keep doing is sort of laterally subluxing the patella because what that does is it really opens up that soft spot. And then I like to put my index finger there. And what I'm doing here is I'm really visualizing exactly the path of the needle. So I'm actually putting my finger exactly how the needle is going to go. Um, and that's my double check. Next, you would go ahead and put the needle uh, into the knee. And so holding the patella, I'm going to sublux the patella laterally. Uh, I like to hold the end of the syringe kind of like a pen with my thumb at the end and my fingers, um, as you see here. And the idea is this way you can just inject as you go. You don't need to aspirate as you go. And so you want to put the needle in quickly through the skin and then just gradually uh, sort of tap it along, injecting a little lidocaine as you go. And you'll feel uh, a little bit of toughness as you hit the capsule of the knee. And then once you're in the joint, uh, you should uh, go ahead and aspirate and what you'll get uh, in this case, I'm getting a little air because of the simulator, uh, but sometimes what you'll get is fluid. You want to go ahead and aspirate all the fluid you can because that really helps the patient feel better. And once you're finished aspirating, hold firmly on to the hub of the needle, twist the large syringe off, and it's actually safe. You can let go. The needle will stay still. I like to shake up the steroid to make sure it's well mixed, and then go ahead and attach the steroid to your needle and give the medication. And then take your four by four, remove the needle and put the four by four down over the site. And what I like to do then is clean around the sterile injection site with alcohol. And you sometimes have to really scrub because um, it leaves this uh, kind of fake tan look otherwise that not everyone's into. Uh, so just scrub around and you'll get most of that off. You will sometimes have maybe a little bit of soft tissue swelling because you did inject some lidocaine in the soft tissue and you might have a little bit of blood, but generally uh, you won't see mu much abnormality about the skin after the shot. And so after you've cleaned, uh, you just put a Band-Aid down and uh, I just ask the patient to leave that on for about a day and then they can take the Band-Aid off.